dear third semester CSE stream students hope you are all doing well I welcome you all again into my channel motion early 14 where I'm uploading uh, all the passing packages and important lectures especially for the mathematics subject right so today in this video I will be discussing the passing strategy for your first subject of third semester that is BCS 301 that is for mathematics right so there are some passing modules which I will be discussing okay so before starting this video so if you are new to my channel make sure you are subscribing the channel and also press the bell icon so that you will receive notifications for further passing packages all right also one thing I want to share with you students is uh, that mathematics is not the subject that can be studied only by one night and you will just pass it that is not the case this is not the one night show if I talking about if I am talking about the mathematics subject maybe somebody is having the potentiality of passing the mathematics subject in one night but that is very rare so on average most of the students are struggling with the mathematics subject and it is the right time to start your preparation your examinations are very near now around 16 to 17 days are left for your examinations so let me discuss here first passing modules uh, first of all if I discuss about module second is the passing module in which you will at least get uh, 15 to 16 marks out of 20 or sometimes you can easily get 20 marks if and only if you are practicing the varieties of problems okay so as far as papers are concerned I have already uploaded the previous year question papers and model question papers and makeup papers on my Instagram account so the link is available in the description box where those uh, previous year papers and model question papers right so in the model second what you have to cover uh, first of all the topic that is joint probability distribution it is a very simple topic seven marks you can easily acquire by understanding the concept first then you can do the varieties of problems only two to three problems you have to practice from previous year papers that is enough to cover this particular concept that is joint probability distribution table for two random variables x and y is as follows that is x value will be given y value will be given you are supposed to find out uh, the marginal probability distribution of x and y obtain the correlation coefficient between x and y sometimes they will ask you uh, about the expectation of uh, x expectation of y you have to calculate uh, accordingly over there right so this is the first concept which you have to cover from module second also problem solving videos are available on my channel okay I will also provide the link in the description box of the playlist of your mathematics subject you can go through uh, two model question papers are enough to pass the mathematics subject okay I have already uploaded three solved model papers if you are going through each and every concept you will easily tackle the mathematics subject right so next we have another concept that is uh, find the unique fixed probability vector for the regular stochastic matrix so I have taken here only example okay so you have to practice four problems so from joint probability you have to practice three problems that are enough or two problems are enough to cover the concept and for this particular concept you have to go through four problems from previous year papers which I have already shared on my Instagram handle over there next we have define probability vector this is a theoretical portion a regular stochastic matrix and fixed probability vector and next we have problems on regular stochastic matrix and higher transition probabilities also four problems you have to practice from each concept that is on regular stochastic matrix and higher transition probabilities so this module i am considering into passing modules passing module means you have to go through fully uh, through this module so that you will at least get 15 to 16 marks from this particular module right so this is all about module second now if I am coming through another passing model that is uh, model 3 it is your choice uh, to go through the uh, theoretical portion which uh, is definitely 10 marks in the video examination or you can go through its or part where uh, problems will be there so my suggestion to you guys is just go through these theoretical portions surely we will ask 10 marks from the theory and rest of the 10 marks will be problematic so null hypothesis significance level type 1 and uh, 2 error and st uh, stand error and statistical hypothesis uh, and test for significance and critical region of st so next we have these are the uh, theoretical questions five uh, five concepts are there which you have to go through surely which you will ask 10 marks for these right so another we have problematic part that is test the hypothesis so questions will be on test the hypothesis and your data will be given like a coin is unbiased at one percent level of significance and five percent level of significance right so at least practice five problems from previous year papers including model question papers so that you will cover varieties of problems in the mathematics it is very rare in the video examination a repetition of question is very rare so you should keep this thing in mind there will be no repetition of questions as far as mathematics is concerned okay so concepts will be same data will be somehow different so that thing you have to keep in your mind over here so this is model 3 about theoretical portion and also problems on uh, this uh, hypothesis hypothesis 
and uh, there will be data will be given like this one percent level of significance and five percent level of significance so last topic we have from this module third that is your test for large samples and so from this concept at least you should go three to four problems also right why i have not written the important questions on this particular page is because there is no repetition of the questions in the examination that is why i have not written over here as i earlier mentioned the data will be the different but concept will be same so as far as model fifth is concerned in which i am assuring you guys if you are good in the concepts you will easily get 20 marks there will be no deduction if you are just writing the procedure uh, correctly uh, in the examination so here we have only three topics that is one way ANOVA two-way ANOVA and Latin square design so these are only three concepts on which the video will ask the questions right so practice at least two previous year question papers and model paper that is enough to cover your model fifth in order to get 20 marks from this particular model these three modules are the passing which are very simpler ones on which you should focus and these modules should be at your utmost priority which modules are there for module second and module third and module fifth these are only passing modules now as far as first module is concerned there is one definite question which vt will ask that is obtain the mean and variance of binomial distribution find the mean and variance of poisons distribution if somebody is only thinking of passing then they should go through these three modules fully and taking important questions from module one and module uh, which we have left with module four right so you have to go through important questions then you can pass if somebody wants to score in the mathematics subject then surely they have to go for all the modules and try to practice varieties of problems not only important questions kept this thing in mind so for the passing students they can refer these only whatever i will mention in this particular video so obtain the mean and variance of binomial distribution find the mean and variance of poisons distribution definitely vt will ask one among them so you should be fully prepared for these two a particular derivations next we have another simple topic which easily everybody can do every students below every students can also understand this particular concept it is from the previous classes that is from 11th or 12th so on that particular basis this question is this question becomes very simple over here that is a random variable x has the following probability function for variable values of x x values will be given its probabilities will also be given so what you have to find find the value of simply this k and evaluate probabilities of x greater or equal to 6 probability of x is greater than 3 less or equal to 6 also i have uploaded uh, detailed videos on these particular questions you can go through try to understand the concept try to practice four problems from this particular concept which is very easier one you can so you cannot simply neglect these seven marks next we have problems on Poisson's distribution so once you go through this Poisson distribution derivation surely you will be able to understand the problems on Poisson's distribution so here is the advantage if you just study Poisson's distribution you will be able to solve these type of problems next we have problems on exponential distribution and normal distribution if you are convenient you can go through these two particular concepts only okay so this is all about model first now we are left with the last module that is model 4 over here in which you have to go through chi square distribution three problems you should surely cover and t distribution and f distribution videos are available it is text of significance for means of two samples and central limit theorem sometimes we will ask the question on central limit theorem. sometimes they will ask you state and prove central limit theorem and question will be attached with the central limit theorem so these are all concepts for your mathematics subject so dear students as i earlier mentioned mathematics is not the subject of one night game so dear students start your preparation now only especially if i am talking about the mathematics subject most of the students really i am telling you my dear students from the previous schemes that is from 10th scheme 17 scheme 15 scheme 18 scheme 21 scheme students are still writing the mathematics backlog so this is not the subject of one night game that is why i am again and again telling you if and only if if you are practicing for the mathematics subject then it becomes easy for a student to pass the subject in first attempt itself there should be no lenience at all in this particular subject rest of the subjects you can pass only in one night but for mathematics it is very rare in ETU examination if somebody has simply wasted the semester how he can understand the mathematics concept in only just one night so i wish you all the best for your examinations my dear friends make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates who are struggling with the mathematics subject thank you